Hi, I'm Chris Clark with the University of Wisconsin Extension. Hi, I'm Daniel Smith, Southwest Regional Agronomist for the Nutrient Pest Management Program at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Chris, welcome to Extension. Today we're out in the field talking about the pre cidrus nitrate test. What are some considerations for this test? Yeah, I think it's a really important test for um, our our state's corn growers. It's um, a test that's going to help look at nitrates coming from organic sources in your soil, which we have a lot of. One of them being manure. We're going to also follow fields that um, have had a legume and take credit for that. Um, we're going to assess the organic matter and we're also going to look at um, any residues that are out there. Who should be taking this test? Yeah, like I said, anyone that's a corn grower, if you, I feel like this is a really underutilized test. So um, corn growers should pay attention to this. And as I mentioned earlier, anyone that's manuring their fields. So um, those types of growers as well as we think that there's a good application for cover crop growers because they can look at um, the residual or um, any of the potential nitrogen tie up um, coming from cover crop residue. What are some other considerations for the test? Yeah, the test works really, really great during ideal growing conditions. So depending on when you're viewing this video, if you are in an extremely dry scenario or an extremely wet year, um, you might uh, be a little bit guarded with the type of results that you get. It's really important with the timing um, for, for the sample. So if you, for example, had a really drenching rain in your area, um, maybe pause um, two to three days and then take um, the, the pre hydrate nitrate test. Great, thanks Chris. For more information, please visit the ipcm.wisc.edu website. And on that website, we have a publication that directly addresses the pre-plant nitrate test and the pre-side dress nitrate test.